excited to have our LISD board members here today. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're so excited to be here. Oh, wonderful. Well, we are going to head to our third and fourth and fifth grade wing out this All time. right, let's go. Ms. Richardson is a fourth grade teacher, and they have some exciting things they want to share with us today. Hi, girls. What are y'all working on? We're working on our timelines um, of our life. So we're doing um, when we were born and then all the way till this day. And why do you think timelines are important? I think they're important so um, you, like, you know about your life and other people can too. Right, so it tells a little bit about you and maybe about other people. Great. Why are y'all working on that, do you think? So we can like actually refresh our life in our minds because other times we just don't care about the past but in timelines you start to remember what happened in the past oh well we have a special treat for y'all um, we're going to stop off at the counselor's office they want to share some fun things that we're doing with kids this year these ladies have some wonderful things to share with you i think uh, beth if you want to start about our counseling service and what we were able to do this year that we're thrilled about we have an additional counselor this year and so miss webster and i worked really closely with steve clark last year and because of our numbers, we're at almost 900, I think. Um, we got a part-time counselor, so she's actually split between Whitestone and us. So a couple of the four of the biggest schools, I think, got an additional half-time counselor each. Um, and these ladies want to share with you guys um, a little bit about what we're doing to enrich all kids here in the building. Bringing enrichment to all is the goal. So not just to the Quest kids, but we actually bring it to every class, every grade. So the intent last year, or the plan, the crazy idea. <laughs> was on these Thursdays to offer kids what we called an enrichment club. And so the intent was that they would choose which club they wanted to go to. So whether it was coding or it was gaming, working on social skills, because of COVID, mm -hmm. we've had to switch, which actually was really great because now we're rotating and they get a little taste of everything. Love it. And what a year of transition to be able to do it. I mean, yes, I think, definitely. you know, giving them some fun and letting school be fun. Um, I mean, they missed their friends and they missed, they missed being in the building and having that connection and all of those things. But to have you guys foster the fun is fantastic. Like, I, it's, just, yeah. it's just wonderful. Okay, we're going to head to fifth grade now. Oh, we're going nice to go upstairs. To Hi, I'm Anna. Hi. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> all right, we are beginning um, what's called a workplace game. Um, we, are, we just introduced our fractions unit yesterday, and so we are working on adding and subtracting fractions okay. with unlike denominators. Awesome. And we do that through a game method. Awesome. And then once they've had a chance to um, interact in the game form, then we'll do like a problem string where we'll talk about how we can use this model to help us add Perfect. fractions. So how many are there total? Twelve. Oh wait, four. Oh, nice. How'd you do that? Um, Twelve divided by three. Nice job. So you just noticed something. So what, what the connection you just made was that fractions are connected to what? You just did it. Division, correct. I love that they're converting fractions in their head before they recognize they're doing it. So what they were talking about is understanding, you know, on that, on that wheel model is that it's broken down into 12s. Mm -hmm. And so realizing that two thirds, right? How many out of the 12 equals the two thirds? Right. So they can see that visual model first. Mm -hmm. and, and, so mm -hmm. and then they don't realize they're doing it, but they're doing it, right? <laughs> right. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, it's magic. It's well, magic. And then we talked about how, you know, every fraction in the whole wide world is really a division problem. Right. And so, right. you know, it, it will scaffold to them to understand decimals as well. Like it just kind of keeps going. So Absolutely. it's one thing I love about bridges. Yeah. You know? Yes. Today, it's your lucky day. We have these lovely ladies here, and I'm going to tell you a little, I'm going to let them tell you a little bit about why they're here today. We're here to support our teachers. And my name is Lee Howell, coordinator of digital learning. Hi, and my name is C.S. Pitt Puckett, Science Curriculum Specialist. Just like she said, we're here to support our teachers and just to see all the great things that's happening at Aiken. What does the support look like? What, what a day like on campus here, what does that look like for y'all? Supporting I mean, the teachers are having great conversations. They're having a lot of conversations about uh, instructional strategies, about their uh, campus focus, which is clearly phonics and, and early learning. So we're getting, we're hearing a lot of those conversations and then just supporting them in lots yeah. of different ways. So like right in, there? In there's a group working on looking at math, like number corner. Mm -hmm. She's a newer teacher, so she's trying to figure out how does that even work. And so I put something in her box today that she brought to her and was like, okay, tell me more about this. It. So it was like, okay, let's show up. Let Help me talk me through this stuff. So just to make sure that they feel comfortable teaching the things that yes, they're supposed to be teaching. Absolutely. So. Love it. Yeah. Love the support. Yeah. Everyone say hello. Hello. We are so happy that y'all are here. Feel free to 
walk around and ask them what they're learning and how they know they can learn that. Boys and girls, tell me what you're learning about. Tell me. We're learning about, we're learning about. What were you doing to earn your wings? I read a whole book. <gasps> wow, that's super exciting. Can you tell me what you're working on right here? Uh, I'm drawing a book about bunnies because I know a lot about bunnies. And um, I finished my first page and now I'm on my second page. I finished my first page yesterday. And we're learning about, we're learning about. Tell me what you're writing about. Is a, about a cat. About a cat? We're learning about books. Mad. Mad. Why do you need to know the sounds of letters? Why do you think that's important for you guys to work on the sounds and letters? So we can read books. Oh my goodness. That's important. Why else do we need to do it? Because, because we won't know any words if we don't read, if we don't know them. Right, so this is good work. Boys and girls, I'm so proud of you for working so hard. Kiss your brain. You got it. One, two, three, eight. Amen. I taught a kid how to draw fish. Fantastic. My art, finally, my art classes in college have paid off. <laughs> <laughs>